Everybody, how you doing? Happy Friday. Welcome to the Happy meeting. Happy Friday. Glad to see all of you. Happy Hope Friday. you got everything you need for the meeting. Ready to go. I definitely know I do. Just rolled out of bed 10 minutes ago. Literally not. And I still got my kick up. Uh, you know, a lot of things happened this week. A lot of things did that I was not there for. And uh, while I'm excited to land, you know, what happened this week, to be honest, and where things are at. And uh, how I can help now with being back after uh, after, after staying at some Porsches for a No, time, Tony, you shouldn't ask how you, know, you can help now. You should just are, know. <clears throat> we're all together. Kick this fucking guy out. This guy's yeah. stupid so, uh, as fuck, right, Jack? Yeah, no, let's kick it off. How does he not know? Happy Friday. Jackass. I mean, I can't really talk on too much. I don't, I don't really know what happened this week, to be honest. How's this guy? Yeah, Get a lot of this Friday. fucking guy. Uh, Lushan, you got this. Go ahead. All right, guys, kick up Friday. Hope you guys brought your dues. Water, um, Tony. We got a couple things we got to talk about. All right, important things. As you guys know, uh, this whole situation with John Paul, the chain gang and all that, it's kind of died down a little, as far as I'm aware. Lang might have a little bit more insight on that. But um, don't let your guard down. These guys are still robbing sanitation workers. Um, we don't know, you know, what what might come up. So don't, don't get caught fucking, you know, Lacking out there, especially because we live right behind them. Um, not sure if everybody knows, but uh, this this kind of all stemmed uh, off of the whole like. Uh, well, I don't want to dive dive into it too much at all, but uh, we got new contracts because of the USBs and shit. Um, that we uh, that we turned in. So in your apps, you uh, you should see new contracts there. You know, you uh, confirmed yesterday that uh, the price of the contract increased or, or like the total value of it you uh well including the new uh dongle it's 350 per no kind of a lot it's a lot yeah so we gotta Holy we gotta God. you know really uh juice up them farms uh you've been working on that with lang as well as as far as i'm concerned how are we doing with the farms here boys pretty good uh it's, it's you know it could be better but we're doing all right S steady steady increasing daily Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's good. I mean, that's that's going to take a little bit of time, especially because we got to craft the uh, the 6060s. Um, but yeah, I guess that uh, that kind of wraps up everything. Uh, the whole, uh, you know, John Paul, CG, fucking butt, butt coin farm and shit. Um, oh, yesterday they were robbing sanitation workers and they were telling them that they wanted material prices to be at $6 or they would continue robbing people. That's so uh oh, wow isn't that like the that's, opposite that's, of what yeah, would happen very smart yeah oh, yeah my god so they, they robbed a whole bunch of people and uh, they were telling them that exact same message actually the company uh the company's guys have been robbed as well dragon and uh benji called me yesterday and he was uh he said that uh, you know we should probably maybe discuss uh how we proceed and move forward i guess as a as a whole or, or something like that we'll, we'll we'll talk a little bit more that on the side lang if you want uh, that's about it on that on that end. Anybody have anything else to add to that? Yeah, real quick. Um, uh, what people are doing now is um, at sanitation place. Uh, I know mm -hmm. you guys probably aren't making this mistake, but just in case you know anyone or like LSD, for example, is making this mistake, people are lock picking cars because people are keeping like their actual car at the yard and then putting materials and dropping it Turbos. off in there. No, no, no. They're just lock picking the car, checking the trunk and the glove box, and taking the materials out. And they're taking thousands. So, uh, if you know anyone, or you do it yourself, you park your car there and put the materials there. Uh, don't do that. Definitely don't do that. I'd like to think that uh, the people down at LSD aren't that stupid, but it's probably good just to double check it away. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, some rookie sure. shit. Uh, the yeah. LSD guys have a, have a different strategy, unless they're like really, really new to uh, the organization. What is so. uh, what what is LSD? Uh, the sanitation crew that runs materials with me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's also a drug that you put it on your tongue and hallucinate like a motherfucker. Yeah, that's what I thought that's it right. was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Yo, you guys see uh, those new apps, though? Oh, yeah, new apps on the computer. I think that's that's a huge topic of discussion today. Marty, mm -hmm. uh, Marty's already, already kind of looked into it. You know as well. Uh, you can spend five coins to works. steal zero. <laughs> Definitely not from experience. Yep. Um, I mean, just straight up, just... 
just stay disconnected from the Wi-Fi. Uh, if you don't do computer shit, there's no reason why you're even connecting to the Wi-Fi. Uh, if you do computer shit, only connect when you're doing shit. Disconnect immediately after you're done. It's very simple. We should be fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even sure it's worth doing from what I've seen, but uh, let's find out. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, right, uh, we, we've only touched that program for a minute, you and I, right, or anyone else. Mm -hmm. So imagine someone that knows exactly what the fuck they're doing, how much they can really fucking do and 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 be able to siphon so out. So the stuff. thing, it's like, uh, it's like Wordle. Yeah, 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 I know, but still. Uh, I mean, Ma Martin's right, right? Like, this could, uh, like, people could figure out ways to, uh, like, people get creative. Right. Yeah. And we don't know exactly how much Bitcoin can be stolen at a time or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, so we just need to stay off the internet, connect only when you need oh, to. I have and... uh, I have info about the security thing, Noid. Yeah. So I'll be totally honest. I completely fumbled ours, but my friend gave me a call this morning and told me about it. It's like hyper expensive. Like, uh, so you, you can hack into it and then you can pay for the security, but the most expensive one is like, a hundred fifty coins. He told me or something. Well, like is that. it permanent or a time? Time period of like protection or I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, I mean if it's permanent that might be worth it eventually once the farm is used up enough, honestly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's like super expensive right now. I don't think it's worth it, but yeah. Something to think about later when we have way more coins. Hey, and real quick on top of that, uh I have computers right now that are setting up cold storage, right? They're farming to three coins and we could like, you know, have a, a storage where we don't even have it plugged into the computer at all, regardless of disconnected oh, like or connected Wi-Fi. One that never goes on Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. except yeah. for when we're sending the coin. Yeah, like not even plugged in. You know what I'm saying? And we can just uh, siphon crypto into idea, that. That's idea, yeah. Yeah, so I'll have, that ready f I'll have that ready within the next, like, few days. That's okay. a good idea to keep good it. Good shit, good shit. Uh, we're probably also selling that house, just so you guys know. What, the one on well, the south when? side or which one? Yeah. Uh, we're not sure when yet. Wait, can, we, kind of... can we get the one in Mirror Park? That one looks cool. I saw one that looks really yeah, nice. Yeah, so we're, we're trying to figure out financials. Uh, but at some point, it could be in a couple months, weeks. Uh, it really depends on how the next couple of days probably go. Uh, we're 100% we're, right. we're selling that house. We don't want to be living behind, right behind fucking Chang Gang and yeah. uh, Jean Paul. And whenever fucking issues arise, uh, people are being held up right outside the fucking house. So we just want to yeah. get the fuck out of there. Yeah. Yeah. And all the headaches, too. So, I mean... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're not oh, sure yeah. when it's going to happen, but, uh, you know, it's something that we are planning on doing. Are you thinking like Mirror yeah. Park or up in Polito? Oh, 100% Mirror Park. Fuck Polito. <laughs> Mirror Park is so <laughs> yeah, nice, bro. far away. Those houses it are is. so nice. Mirror Park's nice. It's quiet. The fucking houses are massive. Uh, and it's away from, uh, you know, problematic people. Straight up. So, yeah. I think a lot of uh, cops might be even living in Mirror Park, which sounds scary, but it might be actually kind of nice, to be honest. Mm -hmm. so. Uh-huh. On that note, want to mention, uh, I've seen cops taking out our house before. I mentioned this to a couple Dons, but um, just be careful. I did notice a... a we have to be wary chat of John Dongle. The house. He's out and about. Don't do that. Do that somewhere else. Just try not to have people loitering about, you know, get in, get out. Just don't be seen. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's Sus. just... It depends on what you're doing. Like, it's not really a big yeah. deal if you are seen, because the cops already fucking know everything, but... Uh... You know, just don't be doing like sus shit outside the house all the time. Mm -hmm. See, just to clarify that that big meeting was because we were moving thousands of dollars worth of materials, uh, nothing else. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yep. Lang. I'm not go ahead. You got something to say? Say. Anything but coin, computer related. Because we got more topics topics to discuss. Get get out of the way. Everybody good? Uh, I think we might be good. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, yesterday, big incident happened late night. Octavia was uh, was yeah. down by the uh, the motel washing some cash. He uh, he had already done about five k worth, and um, there was another five k that he was about to uh, you know start up. He was getting to his car. He got uh, run up by uh, by one of uh, by a guy uh, with the you know he, he was armed clearly. It wasn't a gun, right, Octavia? Didn't have a gun? No, he had a crowbar. He just came crowbar. around the corner as soon as I was getting in the car. So I why, why, don't you, uh, why don't you explain the story and, and, and you know, how we, uh, how we found out who he is? Yeah. And it's like you said, I had 5K cleaned already and another 5 ready to go. Comes around the corner, holds me up, uh, takes, takes all the cash, uh, took my phone, and then after that he proceeded to leave in his club, so I followed him. Because he clearly didn't have a, a great plan. I just got in the, the car and followed him. Uh, 
he eventually had nowhere to go he got himself stuck funny enough it was right next to our house in the south side uh, got himself lodged and he just took off on foot i couldn't really follow him because i didn't have anything to defend myself and uh, he had he had like distance so after that the car is there and trying to get to the bottom of who it was you know i took the plate went to the cops made a little report said i wanted to press charges gave him some bullshit story and I figured out who it was. It's this guy called Joey Pepperoni. <laughs> Wait, fucking <clears throat> yeah, Joey that, Pepperoni. Like actually, who the fuck yeah. is that? Is that a, is that someone that's fucking Joey? Oh, I'm mistaken, isn't that Gigi? Don't you know him at all? No. And uh, so um, this is a guy that uh, back in the day, a couple weeks back, I tried uh, scoping out to see if you know he was legit. I thought that uh, was your brother. No, no, no. I did a, I sold him some fur and whatnot. We did a little exchange. He seemed kind of solid, but we later realized he was a fucking schmuck. He was John um, Dungle. That's his actual name, Joey Pepperoni, real name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, he's got a big mouth on him. He was uh, he was talking shit to Octo when he when he was getting robbed, and uh, you know, saying that he was him. Uh, you know, he took 10k from Octo. Mm -hmm. We got to get this guy. Yeah. Who does he roll with? I don't think he rolls with anybody. Last uh, I checked a couple weeks back again, things may have changed. He was rolling. He was working with this Raimundo guy that gave you wood, uh, lumber. You know that Raimundo guy in the parking lot by Maze Bank? Romanov. Uh, weeks ago, yeah? Yeah, that guy. That's how long ago we're talking. Okay. That's all I know, who, who he's uh, kind of like friends with. Okay. I mean, yeah, just keep an eye out for this guy, and then, you know, we'll take him out when we see him. Uh, we're probably never going to get that money back, but yeah. Okay. Well, we got to stake I, out the motel. Will, I'll make sure I'll get that money back, and uh, if he doesn't want to get the money back, then he will suffer, you know, physically. Yeah, I mean, we just take, we take the motherfucker out every time we see him until we get that money back, or until, yeah. you know. I'll just rob him little by little. It has a hundred bucks. Yeah, buck. exactly. Well, yeah. it will take, uh, what, a thousand times? Right. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Rob his ass a thousand times if we have to. I like that. Make his life a miserable fucking it's night work. Wait, guys, this is a. Uh... Uh -oh. Yeah. If you see him on the streets, give, uh, give us a ring. Wait, guys, I'm not and trying we'll, to. Uh, we'll act accordingly. Uh, guys. Mm. All right. Well, uh, moving forward. Mm, we're going to talk about the Cypress Flats uh, and, uh, and, and, and pushing a little bit. Lang. Uh, uh, we're working on uh, on getting the full network back up and running, but uh, there seems to be a couple issues when it comes to pushing. I guess there's not much we got to talk about. I think Ilya had something to bring up actually when it came to uh, to, the, to the to the system that we want to use down here that we could use down here. Okay. What are the problem? Right. Okay. Uh, so look, the guys Zuzu. seem to be having issues, Hi. but I never noticed this really because how I sell is Zaza, you miss me? Actually, don't come down here with a car or a bike. Come down here with a reason to be here. And I only sell like you miss me? A under felony amounts at a time. I always have a good reason to be here as well, right? So a couple of weeks ago, um, I was selling down here with my cane and no mask or nothing. Just walking up and down the street selling. And uh, cops approached me. There was like three cop cars that were watching me for like 15, 20 minutes. They came up to me. They asked me what I was doing. I talked my way out of it. They didn't even put me in handcuffs or nothing. Um, actually, the 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 crackheads who usually buy weed off me started coming up to me while the cops were questioning oh. me but uh kind of fucking asshole away and the cops were getting frustrated with them and took care of business but what i'm saying is we need to figure out a way of you know not dressing like oh, drug you dealers go now. coming down here oh you think that you want to go unless that's you know okay all right bye, bye. that's what you're intending to do and uh, i had a plan that might involve maybe like three or four guys uh, you know It'll, it'll be kind of risky, but if we pull it off, it, it'll work out exactly one time. We come down here with a taco truck. We load up on some hot dogs and shit, you know, drinks. And we start, you know, one guy sits in the in the taco truck. We corner up. We sell, we sell some weed. Cops come over, ask us what are we doing. Turk, thank you so much for the 31 months. We I'll lick your fucking we balls. Move in any other situation. Turk, I will suck you so fucking good. Yeah. We, we let, we let, basically, uh... We let basically like the cops know that we're selling hot dogs. If they want to buy some, they can, you know, talk to the guy in the van basically. And then 
you know, they can't really prove anything. If we hold on to sub felony amounts, even if we do get caught, it wouldn't be that big a deal. By that point, we would have moved so much in such a little time that, like, it's basically going to be a non non factor. Like, possessions, like misdemeanor possessions, at the worst case scenario. Now, um, I don't know how a lot of people feel about this. I know a lot of people prefer to have a bike ready, but to be honest, nowadays, uh, first of all, the customers don't really want to do business with you if you're just kind of driving around on a bike all the time. But more importantly, when cops see you next to a bike, they just know to set up and to come in with force and they know exactly what you're doing. You're wearing a mask, you're handing stuff off, you're on a stolen bike. It's, it's obvious. So what do you guys think? Uh, I agree. What is he talking about, Chad? Yeah, I mean, uh, just keep working on a method that keeps the cops out of here and keeps shit cold. I mean, ooh, we ain't got nobody uh, we're beefing with other, other than fucking potentially Chang Gang and Jean Paul. So, uh, which is the next thing we got to talk about. So, obviously, we hit no uh, ammunition uh, crates this time around. Thank uh, God we still got a couple time. guns uh, lying around here and there. Because of. Uh, so, oh. the plan with the guns is we're only going to use them and take them out when we have to. Uh, we don't really want people carrying them around. Uh, especially, unfortunately, even if shit is hot because we can't really afford to lose them because if we lose them people know we don't have fucking guns things can get really really fucking bad uh the situation with john paul and changang should be resolved although i have uh, a terrible gut feeling about it i still think they're gonna keep trying to uh you know poke and prod until we get a reaction hopefully i'm wrong but it's just how i feel so you know don't be driving around in cars filled with valuable shit don't, don't be carrying a, a fuck ton of cash just don't get caught lacking just because you think uh you're safe just assume that they might roll up on you. They might see you do something, and they're probably going to try something. Uh, but, you know, it should be resolved. Uh, we supposedly work things out. So we'll see how that goes. Martin was um, shot by, uh, by uh, what was it, Rami? Martin? Martin and Larry. Yeah, we both Martin got shot by uh, Rami. So it's, it, yeah. Well, it was, it was Rami that shot you guys? Uh, yeah, well, X had, had the gun pointed at us, and he said he didn't have the guts in him to shoot us. So he said, Rami, do your thing, and then Rami shot both of us. <sighs> Jesus, fuck. Okay, um, so like I said, right, I, I think it's I think it's going to get hot, especially if they're trying to say lower material prices to $6 or we'll keep robbing people. I mean, eventually something's going to happen where uh, I, I think it's going to pop off all over, you know, all over again. Just be aware of that. Don't get... You know, caught lacking. Uh, if you feel like you absolutely need a gun, let us know. But, you know, if we don't got very many, so if we lose them uh, all, we're just absolutely vulnerable and fucked. Uh, I mean, other than that, I think we're good. Uh, we got the, you know, the cash exchange shit. How I don't think I, we're going to do it for the next couple of days until we're done juicing up the farm. Probably I think priority is all on that. Uh, so just keep doing your thing. Get your money out. Pay your fucking dues, and then uh, cash exchange is next whenever the farm is pretty much ready to go. Yeah, he didn't have the guts because I'm day one. Washington yeah, obviously it's the same shit. Thing. What are you talking mm -hmm. about? Uh, we don't have to talk about that. Stop, you know. Um, Rami challenged me to a Yu-Gi-Oh duel. This chat is so fucking stupid. 60 60 should I accept? Holy fuck. Uh, I personally would tell him to shove his own thumb up his ass, but, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do, you know? Okay, but, I mean... Well, if I win, we get two full racks of 60-60s. I mean, he's not going to give you a shit if you win. I'm going to be honest. You think he's so? not a man of his word at all. But yeah. for a Yu-Gi-Oh duel, surely. And if you lose, he's going to fucking burn everything down, or he's going to try to. Yeah, yeah. That's probably right. You know, listen, it, you're probably going to beat him. Let's be real. But if you did, he ain't going to pay you shit. This is my two cents. I, I could be wrong, but, uh, you know, it's, it's fucking Rami. So. One yeah. more thing. Uh, legal legal weapons. They're uh, they're in circulation in form of uh, 1911s. Uh, I've already seen two of them. So, uh, we're probably gonna get some How do of you those get them? very soon. Uh, I think government officials are, are able to, to 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 grab them. They 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 already have like gun licenses yeah. and shit. Wait a minute. Uh, Isn't uh, so there's a new law where like lawyers technically count as government officials while on the job. Does that mean like Rami's gonna get one quick or? Holy shit, is he still He'll a lawyer? Probably try. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's still a lawyer. So. And there's some How law the where fuck lawyers... is he still a lawyer? God damn. <laughs> yeah. Not sure, but just something to think about. 
Well, I yeah, they, I mean, they, if, they, if they get legal guns as well, then shit is only going to get more hot, which is probably more of a reason we should only use the guns if we absolutely need it, because that's kind of fucking crazy. Yeah, that'll be yeah. wild. Uh, they can purchase them for under $1,000. I think Larry's the AFK. Way, so it's, uh, that's just Jeez. a cheap-ass gun that they'll be able to use. I mean, okay. Uh, I don't think we got anything else to talk about. We don't want to keep people here all fucking day. Uh, let's just pay up, you know, the, the cash that you owe, and we can move on. Yep. All right. Come here, line up. You know the deal. Just do it at the bank after. Okay. That's fine. Hey. Okay. Hey, I already put in my weekly in the in the bench like yes. three days ago. That I still confirm. like pretend. Confirm all of... I'm here. I have given uh, the five thousand. Confirm. Yes, confirm. All right. How you been, Marty? Uh, terrible? Yeah, I feel like you've been through a lot. Yeah, but it's alright. You know, if it means anything, I don't think you did anything wrong. Mm, well, uh, uh, the thing is, I don't think I did anything family. wrong either. Just, um, it's hard to live with what happened, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, it's only up from here, I think. Yeah, I mean, Mobile? when I get pissed off about stuff or upset about stuff, I kind of just work harder, so... I mean, I, Cry for the better, not gonna lie. You know, that reminds me of my friend. He yeah, said whenever he's sad, he works going. out. And now he's buff. Bada bing, bada boom, there it is. Oh, uh, his there name's is. Michael. <laughs> Michael who? Simone? No, no, he's not in this city. A different different uh, Michael. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Reeves. Okay, uh, anyway. Oh, okay. I don't know where to start. Okay, I'm gonna start with Tony. What's going on? For cleaning. 1500 you've cleaned 15k skits. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Okay. Wait, for cleaning money, you get 10%? Oh, oh, that's free cash, Loki. Like a billion dollars. You are getting 12,500 back. Nice. Confirm. Nice. Good shit. Good shit. Good stuff. Work. We Good stuff need, right there. We do need more people cleaning. Yeah, I didn't turn in chat. I didn't turn in shit. On hand. Um, okay. Ilya, uh, I'll hand you just yours for now, but there will be more from other people. I'll call out those names and you tell me if, uh, who I need to hand it to. We'll get it to them. But Ilya, yourself. Okay. 7152. Oh, thank you. There you go for weed and pawning. Okay. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I have like the longest list ever. Okay. And then. I was gonna give um, Oscar's cash. I, I approved to give that to Larry. So when he's done, I'll uh, I'll hand that to him. Marty as well. Here's six k. This is for uh, the wash cash that you Holy threw in, giving a good portion back and clean. Okay. That was from um, the heist money from you guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Luciano. Luciano, you get 28,122 for all uh, of that damn moonshine you've been pushing. Uh, damn right. Good shit. Um, Can I'm we get a sure recount? Harry will be around, but Harry was actually the top earner this week. Oh, and Harry. He brought in about $54,000 worth from moonshine that he both pushed and made himself, so he's going to get a, a good chunk of that back. Wait, this guy is so stupid. Good he said, he gives much? 10k a week, gets 6k after a week. He no, I gave uh, 5k and I got 6k. I got profit, Jesus Christ. Okay, hell yeah. And I didn't even do anything. Yeah, he, did a, he did a good fucking job with that and he's still pushing. We've developed recipes this week, so Moonshine will I be he didn't do shit. good. Obviously, keep doing the jobs you're doing if you like it, if, if you know it needs to be done. But hey. if you have extra time and you're looking for something Doubling extra GP do, strat, bruh. Yeah. Fuck That's it. there. Um, okay, so some of the other names that are not here but need things handed to them. Uh, DeVito. DeVito brought in a shit ton of money this week. Who the fuck is DeVito? Especially, but also weed and pawning. 22000 is what he's owed back. Holy shit, uh, okay. Jesus. Yeah, I'll give he's, he's, yeah, I approved you. One of oh, Ilya. He's, one of our runners. he's been really, guy. really doing great. So I'm, I'm noting that. I'm tracking that. That's all good. Not only does um, he push, he cooks like a motherfucker. So he's, he's really good. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, he gets more back from that because he's doing the whole process himself. He's putting that time in. So that's yeah. great. Who's uh, DeVito? Teddy. Teddy still owed 14K for some older growing he had done. Um, I was just tracking as the product was going out. So we're not paying for stuff we're holding. Um, is there anyone who 
wants to give that to him in particular, or should I hold it for him? I could see him at the house, potentially. Yeah, you just give it to him when you see him. Okay, that'll be 14k to him. Um, Vito. 6136. Should I end this to? I assume Luciano yeah, I for Vito or... I'll give Vito. the Eliana. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know what's happening. Right. There you go. That's for Weed and Moonshine. Thank you. Uh, Stevie. Stevie's old. 4675. Yep. I can take that too. Oh, we're skipping out on his kickback. Are we not? No, no, no. no. He, uh, he had already pushed nine and then oh, he okay, lost gotcha. another. Yeah, this, right. this was separately tracked more more recently. So that's Thank just you. for that time. And I can I can give you these numbers if you need them again, Ilya, if you're not writing them down. Um, yeah, make sure you keep that separate, Ilya. And... Yeah. I'll give you the numbers again so you can split it. Simon. 4432 in Moonshine Money. Who's going to see Sai? Yeah, probably me. Nice, yep. nice. Okay. Uh, Ramon. 1870 from Weed. Who sees Ramon? Yeah, it's still me. <laughs> okay. Do you also see Flash? Yep. Yep. Okay. He is also getting 1870. We're pushing the same amount. There you go. Okay. That is all of the other guys who are not at this meeting right now. Um, if you want me to hand you those numbers again, I can just get those to you. Just so you have them and yeah, you break that out easily. That's fine. Um, that's it. So I just owe Harry and then Lang. We can talk separately about reimbursing you for materials purchases because we should have a yeah, good yeah, amount yeah. left in the pile for that. And that's it. There you go. All right. Good work, right. everybody. Hell yeah. Yeah. Well good done. shit. We're up good. Keep up the, uh, we the are good work. Up fucking good. Keep up the great work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Top Anything. earners. Keep fucking earning. You're not going unnoticed. Bottom earners, mm -hmm. start earning. Just saying, start fucking earning if you're not. Wait, laying off.